going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. A couple of really cool things going on I want to walk through with you. I really want to talk a lot about what we're going to be doing over the next couple of months. Uh, specifically Halloween Horror Nights, uh, Hallow Scream in SeaWorld Orlando, and then our plans for what we're going to do in October for our movie series reviews. So we've kind of got this ironed out for the next couple of months. So I want to talk about Halloween Horror Nights first. I'm super excited. I go on September 6th. Uh, down to Universal Orlando. I'm staying at Universal Orlando until the 11th. I fly out on the uh, morning of the 11th, and I got a rush of fear pass, which means I can go to Halloween Horror Nights as many nights as I want in that time. So my intention is to go the Wednesday night, uh, the Thursday night, the Friday night. I'm going to go to uh, Hallow Scream, which is opening night for Hallow Scream, which I'm very excited for. Saturday night or Sunday night, I'll probably go back to Halloween Horror Nights, and I haven't decided what I'm going to do the other night yet, but I plan on getting at least three nights at Halloween Horror Nights this year, and I can't wait to go. I wanna talk about the intellectual properties that uh, Halloween Horror Nights has created for houses, and then we'll talk about their own unique houses that they've created in a little bit, because I'm really excited for one of those houses. So let's talk about the five houses right now that Universal has coming uh, that are intellectual properties, existing properties that are already out there. So Chucky was the big one they've talked about. I think there are a ton of people who are excited for it. I am a Chucky fan. I'm not a huge Chucky, like, nerd. Like, I don't love Chucky like I like Jason or Freddy. But I always thought he was fun. And the first movie was a lot of fun and very scary. So I like that one quite a bit. We do have an Exorcist house. So there is a new Exorcist movie coming out in October. There'll be a house to help celebrate that, which should be a whole heck of a lot of fun. We do have a, another Stranger Things house. I'll talk about that one in just a second. There is a Last of Us house. Um, so I have not seen the series yet. My goal in the next few weeks is to watch the series. I did play the video game. And from what I'm reading, this house is based on the video game, not the series. So that should be pretty fun. I'm very excited for that. We also have a Universal Monsters house, but this is kind of even more old school Universal Monsters. So what I was reading, it was um, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and The Phantom of the Opera. So we've not seen that before, so I'm very excited to see that. But I wanted to slow down for a second and talk about why I'm excited for the Stranger Things house. I thought Stranger Things Season 4 was by far the scariest season of Stranger Things. I think Vecna is an amazing monster. And I think about the clock, I think about the bells, I think about Vecna as a monster. I think this has the potential to be a 10 out of 10 house, much like Halloween was last year and Texas Chainsaw Massacre was two years ago. So I'm super excited for both of those. Alright, so let's talk about the houses that are created for Universal this year. There are five. We have Dr. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins, which sounds kind of like an old school carnival sideshow. Could be pretty interesting. I don't know how they're going to do with it. Dr. Oddfellow looks like he's the mascot for this year. Um, so I'm curious to see what it does. It could be potentially pretty good. There's a Duel and Dragons house. Um, you know, back in the day, there was a Duel and Dragons coaster at Universal, and they're doing some version of that tied into like Wizards. Could be pretty interesting. I'm curious to see how they go with that one. Uh, there's a Darkest Deal house, which is tied into like a musician kind of selling his soul for a musical success. So again, that not super excited for these. They don't really kind of blow me away. I'm, there's not one out there like a couple years ago, like scary. I thought was going to be pretty cool. None of these have really kind of blown me away. This Blood Moon, blood, uh, Dark Offerings, which kind of has like a werewolf or cult vibe. They're, they're uh, moon worshippers. So that could be a fun house. Hopefully it's really good. But the one I am actually excited for, again, as a, as a monster movie guy, there's a Yeti Campground Kills house, which I'm super excited for. Uh, anything with the Yeti I love. You know, I've still said they've never really made a truly great Yeti movie or an Abominable Snowman or whatever. You know, Bigfoot. We got to get a great movie for that. I haven't seen one yet still. I don't think there's one that's really excellent that's, you know, head and shoulders above. You know, we talk about we want a great shark movie. We watch Jaws, right? We want a great alligator movie. There's a couple out there that are pretty good. Rogue is amazing, right? Which is an, an incredible alligator movie. Um, you know, Giant Ape movie. You know, you've got your King Kongs out there. Uh, heck, even if you want a Big Bear movie, there's a couple that are really good with, like, Grizzly uh, is a really good move. move. And even, like, Grizzly Rage, which is a lot of fun. But we haven't really had that great Yeti movie. So for me, I'm hoping this is a great house and ties directly into it. I'm super excited for it. I'm also really excited to go back to Hallow Scream. Uh, you know, I've done comparison videos the last couple of years, and Hallow Scream has come really, really close to dethroning Halloween Horror Nights. And this might be the year they actually do it, because I think the non-intellectual properties for Halloween Horror Nights are probably the weakest I've seen in a while. Uh, I, might be, I might be completely wrong and blown away, and I hope that I am. But I think Hallow Scream has a really good shot. 
I'm gonna talk in just a second about all the Halloween ho um, Hallow Scream houses. I'm very excited. So Hallow Scream has announced three houses so far. I'm gonna go to my favorite one from two years ago and I was a little let down last year. We'll talk about that one last because I have the highest hopes for it. But they are uh, bringing back Blood Reckoning, our Blood Beckoning, excuse me, which was our favorite house there last year. We thought it was really good. I think they're gonna kind of bring that house back uh, unchanged, which is not a bad thing. It's a great house. I'm excited to see it. So I can't wait to go back and see that house. They also are doing a, a Dead Vines, Nolan's Nightmare, so a New Orleans themed house. Again, that can be a whole lot of fun with any type of Cajun feel, uh, Mardi Gras, who knows. But they are bringing back Beneath the Ice and they're calling it the Meltdown this year. So two years ago, Beneath the Ice was my third favorite house in Orlando. Last year, I was pretty let down by it, so I'm hoping for a big comeback. But I do get to go see Hallow Scream on night one. And if you've never been to Hallow Scream, here's what I would tell you. Check it out. It's a ton of fun. SeaWorld has done a great job of creating a really cool atmosphere and environment so I can't wait to go back in and see the different houses they have amazing scare zones the rides are open it is a lot of fun here's why I will tell you it was interesting as I was thinking about the comparison the last two years and I really did have the two to two theme parks relatively close as I go this year my focus is going to be on a couple of things one is the houses obviously I really do want to dive a little deeper into the scare zones but the one thing I never talked about and I'm going to go a little deeper in this year, I might do two videos I actually might do a Halloween Horror Nights food video and then I might, and then obviously the regular Halloween Horror Nights video, because Universal really goes all out to create some amazing food for Halloween Horror Nights. What's pretty cool at Hallow Scream is they actually do a really good job of creating a really cool like drink environment. So again, if you want a little more of an in, a adult environment, the drinks and stuff are really cool. Not that they're not cool at Halloween Horror Nights, but Hallow Scream shines there. But Halloween Horror Nights does an awesome job with food. So let's talk about our movie franchises we're going to focus on for October this year. So I'm very excited to go through and share a few of them with you. So right now what I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do the Scream franchise. I'm going to do the Predator franchise. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna add the AVP movies in yet, but I do wanna cover all of the Predator movies and I'm gonna cover the Evil Dead franchise. The reason I wanna cover these three franchises is they're actually three of my favorite because I don't believe that they really have a, a truly a bad movie in the franchise. There are movies that are better than others by watching all of them from all of these franchises. So I can't wait to go through and share those with you and give you the rankings of those franchises over, you know, the Halloween season. So think about those will come in October, along with our usual stuff. We have our yard haunt. We're trying to figure it out a little bit different this year. We're, we're, we're actually going to be doing some shopping tomorrow. Uh, I have the day off. Um, I ended up working this past weekend. So my wife and I are very excited to get in and do some Halloween shopping tomorrow, even though it's only mid-August. So that should be a whole lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, we think there's a lot of cool things there. Now, I have not decided what I'm going to do for Halloween, my week of review yet. There's a couple of things on my mind. Um, there was a real, the, uh, 1973, 1983, and 1993 all had some really good horror movies. So I, I may do a, um, a retrospective of the different decades. Or what I'm leaning towards is actually giving you all my favorite horror movies of all time, what I call my perfect 10 list. These are the movies I rate as 10 out of 10 horror movies of all time. So I look forward to sharing all of this with you over the next few months. I can't wait. There's a ton of cool stuff coming out. You know, we appreciate you for checking out the channel. If you see me down in Orlando and you recognize me, please grab me. I'd love to say hello to everybody. I'm hoping to see some of the folks that I get to watch their videos down there. And hopefully I can give them a high five because there's been a lot of people that have inspired me. And there's so much cool stuff down there. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing everybody. Uh, have a great you know, next few weeks, I'm three weeks away from going down to Halloween Horror Nights and Hallow Scream. I'm so excited. Um, if you haven't done it so far, please hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, stay scary, everybody. Thanks.